And a warm welcome here from Alamosa High School. Thank you for joining us. I am Adam Sparandio, and we are bringing you some uh, inner division, inner, or excuse me, lower division, lower seed, lower conference volleyball here today featuring the 3A second seed in the IML League, Alamosa Lady Mean Moose, taking on the Sergeant Lady Farmers in the 2A and they are the fourth seed in the Mountain Conference tonight from Alamosa High School. Once again, thank you for joining us. I am Adam Sparandio. Alamosa comes into the league tonight, the, the game tonight, with an overall record of 11 and 8, 4 and 1 in the league. Once again, as I said, they are second in the, the league behind Bayfield. Now, with the 2-and-A and the 3-and-A teams now going to a top 36 playoff team format, Alamosa, with the win tonight, it really doesn't help their chances in making the, the playoffs. They're already coming in ranked number 22nd in the state. So a win won't really move them up anywhere or place them in a better seating as Sargent is a lower in a lower division than Alamosa is. But... Sargent, on the other hand, with a win, this could be huge in getting them back into the playoff format. As right now, they are sitting on the outside, ranked number 37 in the state. And so they are on the, on the outside looking in. A win versus Telluride over the weekend of October 6th really helped Sargent. As Telluride right now ranked number 19th in the state. That game going in five sets. Sargent winning three sets to two. So a win tonight versus Alamosa definitely gets them back into the playoff contention, back into to possible, possibly, you know, gain some momentum going into the league tournament as this is the last game of the regular season for Sargent. Next week we'll start district tournament, and the week after that will be regional tournament followed by state as where – with Alamosa, they still have about nine days before they finish their season or their regular season. They start going into play mat for, playoff format. We're just a moment away from opening serve here at Alamosa High School. We'd just like to take a quick minute to thank a couple of our sponsors. Vera Wireless 4G. San Luis Valley now has 4G service here in Alamosa and the surrounding areas. Also, go and talk to them about getting a smartphone and you get free Wi-Fi tethering. Use your phone for a Wi-Fi hotspot. It's pretty great stuff. Also, San Luis Valley Federal Bank. Do all your banking with San Luis Valley Federal Bank. This broadcast is being brought to you by Grizzly Video Productions and also Colorado Preps TV. Alamosa in the black. Sargent in the pink. Alamosa will get the serve. Taylor Nye will open things off. Nye will start from the middle. And here we go. Taylor's serve will attack the back middle. Taken by Sargent. Now going middle side is Kendra Hart. Alamosa attacking back. And it'll be a point, Alamosa as it was touched by a sergeant defender before it went out of play. So Nye will be set to serve, and she'll attack the back middle. Sergeant looking to attack, sending it back over to Alamosa side now. And near side spike by Annette McMichael, and give her the kill. And it's a 2 nothing. Ball game here in the first set. Alamosa looking to assert their dominance early. And Nye going for a third straight serve. Looking to attack the middle. Now going middle side spike. That's Kendra Hart, the junior. And she'll get the kill for Sargent and the side out. Bailey Curtis to serve. And it'll be Alamosa on the return. McMichael sending it over. 
Now looking far side for the spike. Paige Mitchell now back over Sargent's side. Hart back with the, with the spike and give her the kill. And Alamosa mishandling on the, the return. And it'll be Curtis for the serve again. High, hard serve, jump serve by Curtis. It'll go into the net. And it'll go back to Alamosa serving. Katie Lepp. Going backside middle now. Sergeant looking to return, and we're going to have a net violation. 4 3. 3 3 the score. Here in the first set, Lepp with the serve. Going backside. Now, now far side front. Alamosa with the return going far side. And it'll be four hits. Side out, Sargent and Trujillo for Alamosa just couldn't handle it. Number two, Paige Mitchell to serve. Alamosa looking to return, going near side spike. That's number 12, Nina McBayer. And we're going to have a whistle and a point. For Alamosa, going to bring up number eight, Blake Fawcett. Sergeant looking to return, going middle spike, Sammy Johnson. And she's going to air mail it out of bounds. Fawcett will keep the serve. Fawcett's serve going backside for Sanford, Sergeant, excuse me. And now it'll be back, returned back by Alamosa. Spike from Kaylee Beller. Keller, Bailey Keller, excuse me. And it'll be sent right back into her face. Kendra Hart with the with the the block. Alamosa looking to return back over to Sargent and the nice little finger bump. Bailey Curtis will get Sargent the point. Six to five the score. Alamosa head by one. Barrow Brooke Mitchell up to serve and she's gonna. Send a bullet. Taylor Nye hitting it out of bounds. Couldn't control it. Give her the, give Mitchell the, the ace. And she'll take back the serve. Send it over. Fawcett to return. Looking near side. Keller. And she'll get credit for the kill. Mitchell has been picked on. For Sargent, and it'll bring up Annette McMichael. She's going to attack the middle. Sargent looking for the return, and the spike coming back. And there's not a number one for Sargent. Nye keeping the volley alive, and she's going to send it back to McMichael with the spike. Give her the kill, and McMichael will control the spike again, or the serve again. Alamosa ahead by two points. McMichael tagging far side. Sergeant looking to return, now sending it back. Alamosa Fawcett looking to set up near side spike. Nye. And she's going to send it in just by a hair. And we're going to have a timeout called on the floor by Sergeant. And. Uh, Right now, Alamosa up by three points. Sargent, looking at their last couple of games, they've they're on a uh, they're on a four-game winning streak, knocking off Cribble Creek Victor in three straight sets, knocking off Telluride number 19 in the state in five sets on October 6th. Also. Knocking off Del Norte in four sets. That, that game definitely crucial in the Mountain League. And then looking 
They also knocked off Antonito on October 5th in three straight sets. Now for Alamosa on the other side, October 9th, knocking off Centauri in four sets. Then not, and Sangre losing to Sangre in five sets. That game really hurt them as far as loss in the Valley as it's going to be served from Alamosa. Sargent looking to send it back over. And Fawcett for the moves can't control it on the return. It'll be Sergeant serve. Sammy Johnson looking to send it over the net. And the little net hanger just kind of clipped the net for a second. And give her the, the ace. And Johnson in control, sending it over to Fawcett now. Setting up a spike, returned over by Sargent now. Alamosa, nice dig. And Fawcett looking to send it over from the back row. Sargent on the return, number one, sending it from the far side. And now Alamosa on the return. Good job by both teams here early on. And it's going to be a big time spike by Nina McBayer. And she gets a huge kill and a big point for the Moose. They're going to go up by two points. And Taylor Eshman now coming in to serve. She's used mainly for her serving purposes. And the big jumping spike will go into the net. So I think I might have jinxed Taylor. Ten to nine. Sergeant back with the in control. Faith Mullins going over, looking to serve from the far left side. And she'll attack the far back side. Now looking to send it over is McMichaels for the moose. Now tagging near side, Paige Mitchell. She's going to spike it over. Return back by Alamosa. And the little teardrop over the net by Nye. Gets the point. It's 11 to 9 the score. Alamos looking to gain control quick. Brooke Trujillo with the serve. The big jump and serve. She's a freshman. And it'll be returned over by Mitchell. Trujillo with the dig. Now Fossa looking to spike over. Taken back by the Farmers. And McMichael. Just couldn't quite get a reaction time over there. And it'll be a point now for the Farmers. Look, they just side out. And it'll be Kelsey Van Trees serving over and give her the point. 11 to 11 on the attack air by Alamosa. Van Trees with the serve. Tagging the back row. Now looking to send it over. And the Farmers not able to get it over. And it'll be Taylor Nye. Sending it over. Now tagging the far side. Trujillo now looking at McMichael. And credit Bailey Curtis with the big block. She looks about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, and Curtis from the block now going to the serve. Looking for the back row, Trujillo. Now coming middle side, McMichael with the serve and the send back. McMichael block on Sargent. And we're going to have a line violation on Sargent. Point goes to Alamosa. And substitution coming in for the Moose. Nina McBayer checking back in. Katie left with the serve. Sergeant looking to send it over. And Fawcett. Middle row spike. Center line spike from Hart. And the Moose looking to... Return, good job. Nice back row dig. 
And the spike. Back row from Faith Mullins goes right into the net. And that'll bring Lett back up to serve. Alamosa control, 14-12. Lep with the serve, looking far side. Sending the spike over. And nice dig by Alamosa. Dump across, little finger, right off the fingertips. Little touch. Bailey Curtis with the point, 14-13. And that'll uh, bring Mitchell up to serve. Looking to attack the backside. Trujillo now going to Fawcett and give Fawcett the kill. No defense by the Farmers as Fawcett just sent it right in the middle of the floor. 15-13 to score. Blake Fawcett. Looking to attack the right back line. Sargent on the return. Now looking to set McMichael up on the spike, and she's going to air mail it out of bounds. And that'll bring Mitchell up to serve. She's going to attack the middle. Now going far side, McMichael. Nice spike. Bailey Keller with this, the block, and that'll bring McMichael up to serve. Tagging the back row. Now middle row spike, and it's going to be nailed out of bounds. Sammy Johnson can't keep the ball in play. And McMichael... Seemed like every time we did the last game against Alamos and Centauri, every time they needed a big run, McMichael was the one serving, and she just gets credited with the ace. 18-14 the score. Alamosa looking to take control of the first set. McMichael with the serve. And Sargent looking to return, taken back by Fawcett, now attacking far right side. And the spike and the kill. Good job. Nina McBayer. And we're going to have another timeout called. Coach Randy Aspel not very happy with what her team is doing right now. Looking at the schedule, some San Luis Valley video streaming will be done. On, we'll be in at Monta Vista on October 23rd. Volleyball. Mean Moose looking to take on the Pirates in a key IML clash. And Friday, October 26th, I will be in center for football as the Del Norte Tigers looking to take on the center Vikings. Both teams statistically eliminated. Actually, they are eliminated from playoff contention in football, but Still should be a very interesting game. Nonetheless, both teams now just playing for pride. McMichael going to serve for the Moose. Going to attack the far, the right side. Now the return by Fawcett. And Sargent looking to attack from the middle. Nice slapping it over to the farmer's side. Saved by Fawcett. Nice dig. And they're going to say she palmed the ball, 19-15. And that's going to stop the big point run for the Moose and bring up Sammy Johnson to serve. She's going to attack the middle. And Moose looking to set up McBayer. Alamosa in front of the net. And nice setup and spike. By the Moose, looking to return is Sergeant McMichael. Air mail and the spike out of bounds. And it's going to be a 19-16 score. Johnson with the serve. And Fawcett sending it over. 
Nice play by the Farmers. And uh, dig and send back by the Moose. Now Farmers in control of the ball. Sending it over now is the Moose. And it'll be a four hit air. Point will go to Sargent, 19-17 the score. Sammy Johnson to serve, taken by Fawcett in the back row. Now looking to set up McBayer. And excuse me, that was Taylor Nye with the spike. And we're gonna have a timeout call by Alamosa. 19-18 the score, Moose just can't put away the Farmers right now. I'd like to thank our sponsors real quick, Colorado Preps TV. This game is live on Colorado Preps TV. Also, check us out on www.chassa.tv as well. Also, Vieira Wireless. San Luis Valley now has 4G, thanks to Vieira Wireless. Go in to talk to them and get you a smartphone. You get free Wi-Fi tethering. Set your network, your phone up as a free Wi-Fi hotspot. Get internet wherever you're at at any time. Also, San Luis Valley Federal Bank. Do all your banking with San Luis Valley Federal Bank. This video is being brought to you by Grizzly Media Productions. As we go back into play. Alamosa looking to get something going. And what a big block by Bailey Curtis. And she's really been everywhere in front of the net tonight. As she's had a few nice blocks sent back. And to keep the farmers into it. Alamosa. Breaching the net. Another point going to the farmers. And now Sargent. Taking the lead, 20 to 19. Sammy Johnson still in control of the serve. Fawcett sending it over. Now looking middle. And it'll be a point back to Alamosa. And Taylor Etchman. The serve specialist looking to check in. And the big jump and serve will attack the middle of the floor for Sargent. And going far side spike. Out of bounds. What an error. Bailey Curtis. Ball had to go just on top of the line. It looked good here. Eshman with the jump and serve taken by Curtis. We're going to set Curtis back up with the spike, and she's going to send it out of bounds. And it'll give Sarge, that Sergeant will be down by two points now as Alamosa takes control, 22 to 20, and looking to take the first set. Eshman with the serve. She's going to attack the backside. And Sergeant with the return. Middle side kill. Nice save by Sergeant. And it's going to be a, I think it was a violation on the Farmers. And it'll be a 23 to 20 score. Eshman still in control of the serve. Looking to set up Curtis and she's going to get. No, 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 no. And the ref on the far side corner is going to say that it was tipped <laughs> on the spike. Bailey Curtis really doing a good job tonight. Playing the front of the net, sending some really good spikes over. And that will bring up Faith Mullins. Sending the net over. Received by Fawcett now. Alamosa looking to attack, sending it back over to Sargent side. Nice spike. Dug out by Eshman. And we're going to have a line violation. Looks like Taylor Nye kind of slid under the net. And it's going to go right back to a one-point ball game, 23-22. 
Timeout. Coach Ortega really not liking what she sees. Alamosa had every chance in the world to put this ball game away. And Sargent doing a valiant job of fighting back. Getting down by as many as four points and each time coming back and taking the lead at one point. At the 20 point mark. A win tonight by Sargent could really help them out as far as rankings go. As right now, with the, new, with the way that Colorado has gone to the 36-team playoff format, a win tonight by Sargent could really help them because right now they're sitting ranked at number 37, so they're just on the bubble. And Mullins looking to send it over. And nice block by Bailey Curtis. And they're going to say it went out of bounds. It'll be a 24-22 ball game. Brooke Trujillo looking to send the serve over. And give her the ace on the 25th point. Libero, Brooke Trujillo coming in and getting the job done for the moves. And they'll take the first set. Final score, 25-22. And give the Sergeant Farmers a really, give them some credit, fighting hard, just not hard enough, keeping within striking distance the entire match. Alamosa benefiting from a, a lot of errors. They had a lot of errors, Sergeant did, and uh, that really helped Alamosa out as they took the first set, 25-22. And we'll switch sides now and try again. This game is a best of five series. So Sargent, every chance in the world to get back into it. Looking at the schedule on Saturday, October 20th, our good friend Ryan Egan will be down in Centauri at the Beehive as Dolores will take on the Falcons. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock. Again, that game originally scheduled for October 19th got moved to October 20th. 1 o'clock kickoff, Dolores at Centauri. That game will be on coloradopreps.tv. Also... Tuesday, October 23rd, volleyball will be in, Alam in Monta Vista as these Alamosa Mean Moose take on the Monta Vista Pirates in a key IML matchup. A win that night in Monta Vista could definitely give, will definitely give Alamosa a big time shot at a high seed for district tournament as their season is, will just be wrapping up. And Friday, October 26th, Colorado Friday Night Lights. We will be in center as Del Norte Tigers take on the center Vikings. That game set for a 7 p.m. kickoff. Again, that game Friday, October 26th. And you can catch all these games at coloradopreps.tv and on chassa.tv. It'll be a sergeant serve. Bailey Curtis. Looking to serve over, and it'll be controlled by Fawcett on the kill. Give out, almost will strike first blood. With an early one nothing lead. Moose with 11 and 8 record, 4 and 1 in league in a second place behind Bayfield. IML and it'll be Katie Lepp sending the serve into the net. 1-1 one, one ball game. And that'll be Kendra Hart. No, excuse me. It'll be Paige Mitchell to serve for the Farmers. Now McMichael looking to attack in the serve and what a 
What a kill by McMichael. She sent that ball down with force. And it's a two to one lead now by Alamosa. Fawcett. And Sargent on the return. Nice dig. And McMichael will look to send it over the net. Short middle dig there by Fawcett, and it'll be inbounds. Three to one the score. Alamosa up by two points. That back right corner, Fawcett just sending it over, and she'll take the serve. Back right row. Sargent looking to attack. And Alamosa now sending it over. McMichael with the spike. And we're going to have a violation at the net. And really, you got to give credit to Kendra Hart. She was, what a block by Hart. And Sargent looking to attack. It's sent over the net. Lep. Coming near side, now Sargent on the return. And nice spike by Sargent. And they'll be control of the serve. Farmers with the side out. Freshman Brooke Mitchell to serve. And give her the ace. Four to three, the score. Sergeant creeping and crawling their way back into it. Mitchell in control of the serve. And she's going to send it into the net. And that'll put Sergeant back down by two. And it'll be a net McMichael to serve. Tagging short middle. And the spike. Nina McBayer with the point. Right in front of the net. And the front line of Alamosa is, is fairly tall. Seeing viewers on coloradopreps.tv that the front line of Alamosa right up on the net is a good two to three inches taller than the front line on the net of Sargent as Annette McMichael give her the ace on the serve. Seven to three the score. McMichael on the far left corner from the serve. And she might get her second ace, but it'll be returned by the Farmers. Now looking to set Fawcett up back row middle and give her the kill. Blake Fawcett really made that look easy. The back row spike. And Sargent not liking what they see. Coach Aspel really not liking what she sees. We're going to have a timeout called on the floor. Alamosa taking the first game, 25-22. This is the second game. And the Moose ahead by five. Alamosa second in the league behind Bayfield still. Now... With the 2A and 3A teams going to the top 36 team playoff format, a, a win tonight by Sargent could really help them out in getting back into playoff contention. Is right now they sit number 37 in the state, and that is really hurting them. A win earlier in the month on, in October against Telluride, that game took five sets, and Telluride ranked number. 19 in the state. Sergeant defeating them. That really helps them in where they're ranked at right now. But a win tonight, especially Alamosa being a 3A team and Sergeant being a 2A team, could really help them. So like I said, right now, Sergeant ranking number 37 on the outside looking in. 9-4 to the score. And McMichael on the return. And really, ball just kind of ricocheted off the front of her arms, it looked like. And it just went under a 
Sergeant Defender, and it'll be a 10 to 4 to score. Eshman to serve. And Sergeant with a nice save. And back row Eshman. And a free ball, and it'll be out of bounds. And it'll be an 11 to 4. Eshman in control of the serve. Taylor Eshman. She is a senior. Nice return by Sargent. And a nice little backwards tip over the net. Katie Lepp will keep Alamosa in control of the serve. Sargent in desperate need of a side out now, trailing 12 to four. Substitution checking into the game. Sarah Scheller coming in. Not sure who number one is. There's not one on the roster. Eshman there jumping serve, sending it over. Sargent with the return. Fawcett back row spike. Taken by McMichael, going far side, nigh. And Sargent with the return. Big time block by Bailey Keller. And right now the Moose are in big time control. 13 to four the score. Ashman in control of the serve. Sergeant looking on the return, and there's going to be nobody on the floor. Just some miscommunication. Savannah Plain not able to get anything done. And it's a 10-point lead now. Eshman still in control of the serve. Taking in the back row by Sergeant. Now looking to attack is near in the near side. And finally, Sergeant will get a side out. Alamosa giving Sargent a chance to get right back into the ball game. Farmers now trailing by nine. That'll bring Kelsey Van Trees up to serve. And Alamosa can't do anything on the return. And Mullins with the serve. Looking to attack the back, and she will send it out of bounds. McMichaels almost touching it. Had to do a little bit of a matrix move. And Trujillo sending the serve into the net. 15 to 7 the score. Kelsey Van Trees. Taken by Trujillo, now looking over to Fawcett. And there's going to be a hand violation. Give Al most of the points, 16 to 7. And that'll send Taylor Nye up to serve. Sergeant on the return and the spike from Paige Mitchell going right into the net. 17 to 7. Alamosa in control by 10. Nye. Sending it over the net. Return by Curtis. And it'll be a point for Sargent. Neither player in the back right row able to touch the ball or keep it in play. And that'll send Curtis up to serve. Tag him the back right side. Now looking far side is McMichael. And it'll be out of bounds on the return from Sargent. 17 to 8. And Nina McBayer now coming in for the serve specialist, Eshman. And that'll bring up Katie Lepp to serve. Left serve attacking in the middle, middle back row. Now looking near side, Hart with the, with the spike, sending it over now is McMichael. 
And the return by Alamosa, out of bounds. And this 18 to nine, Sargent with the side out. Sargent in desperate need to start a run right here. That'll bring Paige Mitchell up to serve. Looking to start some sort of run. Tag in the back row. Now coming center line and Nina McBear with the spike. Give her the kill. And you really don't want to be around the ball that spiked by Nina McBear. She's got a lot of velocity on that coming back at you. Blake Fawcett now up to serve. Alamosa in full control, 19-9 to the score. Kendra Hart sending the spike into the net. And we're going to have a timeout called. Randy Aspel using her second timeout. And... Sergeant right now looking to get anything going. Down by 11 points. That's pretty unheard of to come back from here in the volleyball world. And she's just really trying to get her girls back into the ball game mentally. Physically, Alamosa is just bigger and stronger than these sergeant girls. And, you know, that, that goes just because these Alamosa girls, just, they're at a 3A school competing against a sergeant school that in the 2A ranks is a lot bigger than even their competition. So, it, you know, it just goes to show not, not, not just the competition ath athletically is better, but even bigger and, you know, they're just they're, they're, they're taller, they're bigger. Fawcett looking to serve and give her the ace. 21 to 9 the score. Lady Farmers can just see the looks on their face. They need to get something going and Fawcett's serve goes into the net. Mitchell. Let's see if this freshman libero can get something going for the Farmers. And Brooke will serve from the middle of the court. And she'll attack the back row. And a whistle and a hand violation. And that'll keep the Farmers alive at least for one more point. Mitchell looking to send it over. Tagging the back middle row. Taken by Ke Keller. Now Sargent looking for the return. Nice dig by the back row center. McMichael's shot, no go. And a block by Alamosa and the send right back over the net to Sargent. Big time block by the two trees over on this near side. Bailey Keller and Nina McBayer, two tallest girls on the team. And they are doing one heck of a job playing defense along the net, blocking almost everything that comes back around them. And McMichael's going to send the serve over. Sergeant on the attack. And Kelsey Van Trees on the spike from the very middle of the floor. McMichael not able to make a play on it. Sargent still alive now, trailing by 10 points. Back middle serve from Curtis, now send over by the Moose. Sargent trying to send it back over. Now far side spike. Taylor Hillis with a big spike. And McBear will serve for the 24th point. And it'll hit the top of the net. And Sargent looking to send it back over. And the return. Bailey Curtis sending it right back into McBear's hands. And McBear just couldn't make a move on it. So it'll be Mullins to serve, trying to get back into it. 
Trailing by 10 points, 23 to 13. Mullins tagging the middle side back row. Now looking far side spike. And return by Alamosa. Middle side kill Van Trees. And she has just been doing one heck of a job in the middle. It was back in those middle kills by the Farmers are keeping them alive. Mullins on the serve, tagging back row middle. Now on the return, Golson and Alamosa looking to get back on the board. And Taylor Hill has given her the set. This is her second kill since she's been into the ball game. And she's done one heck of a job. Two running off two straight points, and she's going to take a seat back on the bench. Alamosa in control, 24 to 14. Trujillo with the serve. Sargent looking for the return. And Trujillo can't return the Bailey Curtis serve from the middle row. Sargent still alive. Farmers. Looking to find anything inside them, anything at all, just to get back into the game. And the serve is in the back middle. Now taken by Trujillo on the back row spike. Attack in the middle now is Kendra Hart. And Alamosa on the return. It'll be tipped at the net. And Alamosa will gain the point. 25-15, the, the final score of the game two. And Alamosa... With that win in the second set, we'll also take a demanding, or commanding, excuse me, two to nothing lead in this best of five series. And Alamosa right now is really playing some good volleyball. Last two times we've had him, last time we had him here on Colorado Preps TV, they knocked off Centauri in three and four games. And uh, tonight, looking to knock out Sargent in three straight games. Sargent not able to get a run going in the second set. And really, when you look at it, it was just Alamosa's girls are just bigger and taller along that front line. Sergeant really having to rely on their back row spikes and, and their flat-footed spikes to get anything over the net because anything in the front of the net, Alamosa has done a really good job of sending it back. The only really big spark of light is Kendra Hart. And uh, she has really done a good job of keeping her team in the ball game around the front of the net. And out, but Alamosa really just, like, we, like I said, they're bigger, more athletic. And, you know, it, it's just being that 3A school compared to a 2A school. And, you know, you, you, can, you see it. And the way the, vault, the, the game is being played, Alamosa right now just in control in all aspects of the game. Moose will serve to start the third set. Taylor Nye to get things going. Tag in the middle row. Now coming center spike is Hart. And it'll be returned by the Moose. McMichael, nice dig by Hart. Now they're going to go right back to the middle. Fawcett with the save. And Hart sends it right back down the middle of the floor for the kill. And it'll be one nothing. Sergeant striking first blood here in the third set. Curtis to start things off for the Farmer. She's going to attack the back row center. Alamosa on the return. Fosse with the big time kill. And Katie Lepp doing one heck of a job setting Fosse up. And she will go to the back row 
to serve it away, Katie Lepp. And she will attack the front row and give her the ace. Paige Mitchell could not keep the ball in play. Katie Lepp. Back to give Alamosa a two-point lead. Moose ahead right now, two to one in the third set. Lep serve. Short middle, going back to Hart now, far side. Nice dig by Trujillo, and Lep trying to send it over. And Lep is left short. And it'll be over to Paige Mitchell to serve. Lep can't keep it in play. Now McMichael trying to get it over the net, and she will be just short. Alamosa playing a little sloppy to start this third set. Mitchell to serve. Looking to attack the back row is McMichael now. McMichael sending it over with the kill. And Annette McMichael, in the last two games that we've been here, when you needed a run or you needed a point or anything, whether it was coming from a serve or McMichael trying to spike it over, she has done one heck of a job getting her team on a run and, and a side out to serve and faucet. Will airmail the serve out of bounds. And that'll bring up Brooke Mitchell or Sargent. Far side spike. And McMichaels will come up to serve as the ball ricocheted off of Savannah Plains' arms and went out of bounds. McMichaels serve. Give her the ace. Five to four the score. McMichaels has just been a beast tonight. And she sends it over now, sent on the return by Sargent. And what a nice spike there, Kelsey Van Treese. Give her a kill. And she will get credit for the point. Bringing up Faith Mullins to serve. And she'll attack the back row middle. Now flat-footed spike by McBayer. Send over by Alamosa. Near side spike. Taylor Nine now returned by Sargent. McMichael taking the dig. Back row spike by Fawcett. And Alamosa's looking for a tip. Neither one of the judges are going to give it to him. And Mullins... Still in control of the serve. Sargent taking the lead now, six to five. Sargent has not been in any kind of lead since it was 20 to 19 in the first game. <coughs> Sargent on the return now by Fawcett. Far side, Spike McBear. And like I said earlier, you know, you don't want to get behind in front of one of those spikes by McBayer. She just sends the ball down with so much ferocity. She gets the side out and Alamosa will be in control of the serve. The senior and serve specialist Taylor Eshman. She will send the jumping serve back row and Sargent on the return taking back row now by McMichael setting up the middle. What a block! By Van Treese, and what a save by Alamosa. Now going far side, big time block by Alamosa on the net. And the Moose are looking to set it up. Big time block by Sargent. And wow. Wow. That was a big set right there. Sargent really trying to work off of that point now. They are ahead seven to six. And the serve will go out of bounds. Sammy Johnson airmailing it, giving Alamosa the serve. <laughs> Trujillo, right side serve. And the Farmers in the send back now. Far side, Fawcett 
sends it right into the net. And it'll be Farmer Point. Now Sargent back with the lead. It's been a battle this third set. Kelsey Van Trees. Alamosa on the return. Nice block by Sargent. And Alamosa will send it back for Sargent to set up. Trujillo, and we're going to have a whistle. And they said the umpire line judge said that it was a touch. Illegal touching. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. Sargent up by two points. Alamosa in desperate need of a side out. Get anything going. This is the first... This is the most that Sargent has led all night. The last time the Farmers led in the, in the game was in the first set, and it was a 20 to 19 ball game. Sargent really needing to get a win tonight to move up in the rankings to get back into playoff contention. Right now, sitting at 37, Colorado implementing a new playoff system where they take the top 36 teams in the state. And right now, Sargent sitting just on the bubble. So a win tonight will get them back into the playoffs. Van Trees with the serve. Alamosa on the return. And Sargent doing a real good job now keeping the ball in play and just as I say that Taylor Nye with a big point big kill and just as I say that she goes back to serve let's see if Taylor can get anything going now almost are trailing by one she'll serve to the middle now setting up the middle spike and wow Kendra Hart She has been everywhere tonight. Anytime Sargent has needed to get a point, although Sargent really hasn't been into the game until this third set, anytime Sargent's needed a point, Kendra Hart has been the one to get it to him. And Sargent looking to keep in control of the serve, and they do. Good job by Bailey Curtis, putting into a place where Taylor Nye just couldn't quite make a play. 11 to 8 to score. Sargent with the biggest lead they've had in the entire set. Fawcett goes under the net and gives Sargent another point. And it'll be Bailey Curtis to serve, and she's going to send it right into the net. Point for Alamosa. They were in desperate need of a side out. 12 to 9. And it'll bring Katie Lepp. She will try to get the moose back into it, trailing by three points. Lepp attacking the back middle. And give her the ace. Nobody around to make the, the play after Brooke Mitchell tried to set a farmer up. And Lepp will go back in control of the serve. Alamosa now down by two. And she'll attack the far side corner. And Hart with another kill. And she has, like I said earlier, she has just been everywhere. Anytime the farmers that need anything, Kendra Hart has been the one to get up to him. 13 to 10. And Paige Mitchell will try to add on to the lead for the Farmers. Alamosa on the return. Far side spike by Farmers, and it'll be returned by the Moose. And we're going to have another net violation. Katie Lepp trying with the little baby touch and just using her momentum too much to handle. And it's a point for the Farmers. Alamosa looking to get back right, right back into it. Spike by McMichael, no go. And the Moose will go back to set up. McBayer looking to send the spike in 
to the net, and it will be points. Farmers and Sargent right now running away with it, 15 to 10. And you can just see the body language on the moose right now as they are not into this match. McMichael, near side spike, and this gonna go out of bounds. And where's it? there's an injury on the floor. Paige Mitchell went down for the dig and she's coming out in some serious pain. And Coach Aspel will send her to have a seat. Fawcett with the serve, attacking the back row middle. Now Sargent on the return and big spike. Jessica Crowther, another one of those tall girls that you really haven't seen by Sargent until right just recently this third game. And, so, and you can definitely tell now Sargent getting a lot more competitive middle side or middle row serve. And Sargent, another point, 17 to 11. You got to wonder what's going on in Alamos's heads right now is Coach Ortega is going to take a timeout. Definitely not liking what she's seeing with her girls right now. Trailing by six, 17 to 11. Like to take a quick minute here to thank some of our sponsors. Vero Wireless, San Luis Valley now has 4G. Thanks to Vero Wireless. Going into the, one of the st mini stores here in the Valley. And pick you up a smartphone. You get free Wi-Fi tethering. Set your phone up as a Wi-Fi hotspot anywhere you are. Also, San Luis Valley Federal Bank. Do all your banking, including internet banking, San Luis Valley Federal Bank. Would also like to let you know that this broadcast is being brought to you by Adam State Grizzly Media Productions in conjunction with Colorado Preps TV. As Brooke Mitchell gets the ace on the serve, 18 to 11. And Mitchell's serve will be taken by Fawcett. Now setting up far side spike by McMichael. Returned by the Farmers. Fawcett on the dig and sent back by number 10, Bailey Keller. And it'll be an air. Wide right that ball went and it'll be Mitchell back to serve again. Brooke Mitchell. Looking for the ace, not going to go. Returned by Alamosa. Now middle row spike. And Alamosa doing a good job of returning it. Farmer's doing a real good job keeping the ball in play. Back row spike and blocked by Bailey Keller and Annette McMichael. And just when Alamosa needs a big play, who else but Annette McMichael? And she's going to go back and serve. Try to dig into this lead. And is she going to have the ace? No, she's not. Good job by the Farmers keeping the ball in play. Lep looking to set up McBayer. And the ball will go out of bounds. McBayer airballing. The return, and it is a 20-12 to 12 score. Sargent in control of this third set. Nice ace by number 12. Excuse me, that's Faith Mullins, number 14. Sergeant right now in full control, 21 to 12. And you got to think right now, this, this might be, hey, you guys beat us by 10. We're going to turn around and beat you guys by 10. And Sergeant in full control right now. Nice play at the net by both teams. Nye looking to send the ball over on the spike. Nice dig by the Farmers. Now back row. Setting up on the center line. And Bailey Keller can't get nothing going. Nice defense. And play by the net. And Kelsey Van Tree, she has been one girl that really hasn't been getting enough credit tonight. As I've been saying all night long that there has, there's been good play 
at the net, at the net and Kelsey Van Trees, one of them, big time ace. By Mullins, 23 to 12. And Sargent right now in full control. Mullins. Back row, looking for McMichaels. And Nye will send it over. Far side spike. And point by the Farmers. Sammy Johnson. Good job. Bailey Curtis also in on the play. Mullins still in control. Looking for game point, and she will send it into the net. Little bit of glimmer for the Moose here in this third game. Taylor Eshman, the serve specialist, coming up. And it'll be an ace for Eshman. Alamosa within 10. And Eshman's going to have to be in control of all these serves for the rest of the way out. Otherwise, Alamosa will drop this set. Eshman serve. Back middle row now looking to set up on the return is the Farmers. And the setup by the Farmers will be airmailed out of bounds. Sammy Johnson looking to end the match. And she will give Alamosa one more shot to get back into it. Eshman back to serves. Needs to runs off 10 straight serves in order to win tonight. Far side spike and airmailed out of bounds again. Sammy Johnson, the tall, tall sophomore. And Coach Aspel now taking a timeout. Farmers ahead, 24 to 16. And if you're Coach Ortega, you're telling your girls, we need to play some tough defense and keep the ball in play. Nothing stupid. Play tough around the net. And let's try to get back into this game. Farmers trailing two sets to none. Eshman looking to keep the moose into it. The serve specialist. And give her the ace. 17 to 14. Alamosa inching and clawing their way back into it. Eshman sending it over. And another ace. And Taylor Eshman has reeled off ace by ace by ace tonight. And there's a reason why this girl is a serve specialist. 24-18. Alamosa still in it. Six hit points in a row, Eshman. And the far side now looking to send it over. Alamosa trying to keep it in play. And the return. Van Trees on the spike. Nice dig by McMichael. Back row spike by Trujillo. And Sargent looking to set it up. McMichael, good job. And a whistle and a double touch. And that's going to do it for the third set. Sargent. With the third set upset, Alamosa not able to do anything up until the very end of the game there. And Alamosa will go to the left side. Sergeant to the right will go to a fourth set. And really, if you're Sergeant, you've got to be proud of the way you guys have played this, th this third set. Trailing Alamosa, two sets to nothing. Fighting for your playoff lives as this is the last week for 1A Volleyball here in Colorado. Two to one is our 
Next week we'll go into district play. And, uh, you know, still Sargent on the outside, right on the bubble, ranking number 37. And Colorado, you know, you're only taking the top 36 teams into the state playoffs. So if it were to, the season were to end today, Sargent would not be making it. Alamosa would be ranked number 22nd. They still got about nine or ten days left in the season. And, you know, Bayfield loses a couple games. Alamosa wins out the rest of the season. Um, it could be a possibility that the Moose would be hosting a, a playoff series here. But uh, the way Bayfield is playing over in the IML, is they are really tough. And uh, it'll be real hard to knock Bayfield off. Sargent looking to fourth, force a fifth set. And on the floor for Alamosa, it'll be McMichael, Fawcett, Lepp, McBayer, Keller, and Taylor Nye coming out for the Farmers. It'll be Curtis, Vantrese, Sammy Johnson, Faith Mullins, Kendra Hart, and number two, Paige Mitchell. Curtis to open up the fourth set. Big jump serve by Curtis, and she's going to airmail it out of bounds. Almost hit a cheerleader's face over on the far sideline. And it's a one nothing ball game. And Katie Lepp with the serve. Interesting to statistic. The team that scored first in all three games so far has been the team that has won the set. One to one the score. Mitchell with the serve and she's going to send it right into the net. Two to one the score. Blake Fawcett. Looking to give the Moose a big lead. Fawcett will send it into the back row on the return now of the Farmers. Lep will get called for a line violation. Sliding under the net. And Libero, Brooke Mitchell, the freshman, coming up for the Farmers. Two to two ball game here in the fourth set. Mitchell serve. Sending it over now on the return is Alamosa. And Bailey Keller will get credit for the point. And she was really in an awkward position right there on the return. McMichael, is, she's had one huge game tonight. And she sends it over the net now on the return. And looking to set up McBayer on the near side. Saved by Sargent on the return. Yes. And Fawcett. We'll take control, and wow, what a drop by Bailey Keller. Everybody was looking for the big-time spike, and Keller just kind of tapped it over the net. And Mitchell will, McMichael, excuse me, will send it right into the net. Alamosa ahead by a point. Faith Mullins looking to get the Farmers back into it. You really don't see McMichael... Send it into the net very often. Mullins serve, back row, and Fawcett couldn't control the return. Give Mullins the ace. And we got a tie ball game now at four, four to four. Mullins. Back row now returned by Fawcett. Dig out by Mitchell and Fawcett now with the dig on the Almosa side. McBayer with the send over. 
Set up. Nice dig by Fawcett. Return by Alamosa. Both teams doing a real good job keeping the ball in play. Big time spike by Nye. And Alamosa will get the point. Five to four. Serve specialist Eshman. And the jump and serve will go to the back row, far side. Sent back over now by Mullins. And let's see if the Farmers can return. Nice job by Sargent. Bailey Curtis. No look over the net. And I think Alamosha right now wondering what did we just get ourselves into? Five to five ball game. Return by Alamosa. Good job by Nye. Give her the kill. Taylor Nye trying to keep the moose from dropping another set. And that's going to bring up number 15, Brooke Trujillo. Both Liberos freshmen for these teams. And Trujillo's jump serve will go off the ceiling and returned by the Farmers, taken by McMichael. Front row spike by Fawcett. Nice dig by the Farmers. And the Farmers are on the attack. Dig by McMichael. And Fawcett will send it over and out of bounds. Six to six. And you know, you got to think, the first game, Alamosa, a three-point win. And a 10-point win. And really, other than that 10-point win out by Alamosa in the first set, or the second set, excuse me, Sargent has played Alamosa very hard. In fact, winning the third set by 10 points. And right now, we have a 6-6 six to six ball game. And Trujillo will take the serve. Send over by Alamosa. And give Taylor Nye a point. And we're going to have a whistle and a substitution coming into the ball game. Miranda Glashetsky checking in to serve. And Miranda's serve. Attacking the back row. Farmers on the return. Front row spike. Fawcett sends it in. And what a big time point by Fawcett, the senior. Good job to keep her team with the serve. Leshetsky with another chance to serve and add on to the lead. She will attack the middle row. Near side spike. And it will be sent out of bounds by Kendra Hart. Point. And serve control still in the moves possession. Vyshevsky's serve. Back row middle. Sargent trying to return it. Taken by Fawcett on the, now near far side. Excuse me, McMichael. And give McMichael the kill. And I have said it all night. Annette McMichael. Anytime Alamosa has needed a big play, she has been the one to do it. And timeout by Sargent. Moose ahead by three points. And looking ahead on the schedule here. Saturday, October 20th. We will be in Centauri for football. As the Centauri Falcons will take on Dolores. That game was moved to Saturday, September 20th, with kickoff scheduled at 1 o'clock. Also, Tuesday, October 23rd, we'll have volleyball over in Monta Vista. These Alamosa Moose taking on the Monta Vista Pirates in a key IML League showdown. And Friday, October 26th, Last league game of the season for both these teams as the center Vikings take on the Del Norte Tigers. 
in a key Mountain League showdown. Kickoff from center is scheduled for 7 o'clock p.m. And we got an 11 to, seven, 11 to 8 ball game. Bailey Curtis to serve. Trujillo taking the, the serve. Back row. And Ashman's back row serve will immediately be stuffed back by the front row of Sargent. And really, when, when Coach Aspel went to her taller front line, they have done an excellent job. The serve coming from Curtis. Alamosa on the return. And Alamosa squandering a four-point lead. Only up by one, 11 to 10. Bailey Curtis has reeled off three straight points from serving. And she will attack the middle now. And make it four and an ace. 11 to 11. Four in a row for Sargent. And Curtis in control of it all from serving. Alamosa looking for the return. McMichaels, big block by Sargent. Wow. Wow. Kendra Hart. She has been all over the front of this net tonight. Also credit Grace Stoltz with the block in there. And it's going to be a 12-12 ball game. Curtis giving the serve over to the, the Moose. And it'll be Lep putting the ball into play. Spike looking to come over from Hart. And Kendra Hart couldn't keep it in play. And Lep looking to keep control of the serve. Katie's serve tagging the back side, the back row. Now looking Hart. On the kill, no go. Fawcett on the return. <coughs> and we're going to have a whistle, and looks like there's going to be a line violation on Sargent. 14 to 12. And Nina McBayer has been everywhere tonight for Alamosa. And the serve going into the net from Lep. Point going to Sargent, 14-13. And Paige Mitchell with the ace on the serve, 14-14. Mitchell looking to give Sargent the lead, taken by McMichael, looking for the, the spike. And McMichael's going to have it sent right back into her face. What a stuff block. Kendra Hart, she has been everywhere tonight. 15-14, Sargent up by one. Looking to force a game five. It has been one big play after another this fourth set. Neither team able to completely pull away. Alamosa was ahead by four, 14 to 10 at one point for giving up the lead. Sargent has played tough these last two sets. And really, you take away that second game when Sargent w lost by 10 points. It has been an even game tonight. Mitchell looking to add on to the lead for Sargent. Force a fifth game taken by McMichael, and it will be. What are we going to say here? And it looks like it's going to be a tie. No point, and we'll replay. Mitchell to serve again, 15 14. Taken by McMichael on the return. 
far side. And boy, Nina McBayer has done one heck of a job tonight right on the net. She has really done something on the, along with the spikes, sending the kills in and also blocking, playing some tough defense. And Alamosa now getting back into it, taking the lead, 16-15 and on the return. Fawcett on the serve. Send back by Curtis. Far side spike by McMichaels, and she has just been everywhere. There's been a, a few good players tonight that is on both sides that has really kept their teams in it. McMichaels, anytime Alamosa's need a big play, it has been her. Give Fawcett the ace, 18 to 15 to score. And Blake Fawcett now looking to add on to the lead for the Moose. As I was saying earlier, both teams really with two or three girls that have, any time their teams have needed a big play, it has been them to get it to them. And just as I say that, Kendra Hart gets the side out for the Farmers. And she's going to take a quick break real quick. Brooke Mitchell to serve. Alamosa looking to keep it in play. No go. And give Mitchell the ace. 18-17 the score. Sargent trying to force a fifth set. Mitchell. And she's going to send her serve out of bounds. And McMichael now. She has done one heck of a job had one set one heck of a set tonight and let's see if Alamosa has a return McMichael back row spike setting it over now taken by Mitchell now coming near side and good job wow what a job Nina McBayer getting a big point for the Moose and we're gonna have a timeout on the floor Coach Aspel really trying to get her team back into it, trailing by three, 20 to 17. Alamosa looking to put the Farmers away ahead two games to one. Alamosa needing to force a fifth set. Sargent coming in with a winning record tonight, five and three in league, nine and seven overall, but just on the outside of the playoff window right now. Colorado taking the top 36 teams to the playoffs. Out Sargent at number 37. McMichael on the serve. And she's just going to kind of send it into the net. Not too sure if it came off her hand wrong or what. And that'll bring Faith Mullins up for the Farmers. Let's see if she can get these girls back into it. Trailing 18, 20 to 18. Excuse me. Alamosa keeping the ball in play. Big spike by the Farmers. Kept in play by the Moose. And Sergeant looking to attack. Big spike. Big kill, Sammy Johnson, the sophomore. Keeping the Farmers into the game, down by one, 20 to 19. Mullins with the serve taken by Fawcett. Looking to set Fawcett up now. She's going to do a back row spike and dug out by Mullins. Big time block, Nina McBayer. What a block, 21-19. And the serve specialist, can't say this enough, Taylor Eshman, she ran off a big set of serves last game. See if she could put this away, 21-18. The jump and serve Eshman. Give her the ace. 
22-19. Alamosa looking to put this away. Eshman jumping serve, taking back row. And it's going to be violation. And I want to say it went off of the forearms of a, a farmer defender. Second straight ace by Eshman. And the return. What a job by Eshman and a dig. Looking to set back up and return is the Farmers. Far side, Glasheski, and give her the kill. 24-19. Alamosa in full control right now. Eshman looking to end the game. Alamosa ahead two sets to one in this fourth game. Fourth set. Eshman serve. Taken by the Farmers and returned. Fawcett. And looking to set up. And we're going to have the ball go out of bounds. Bailey Keller looking to put the game away. And she's going to give Sargent one more chance to get back into it. Center approach by Glasheski. Nice defense by the Farmers, and there's going to be a violation. Farmers are going to go down 25-20 in the fourth set, and that's going to do it for the game here tonight. Alamosa will take the fourth set and win the game. Sergeant dropping a heartbreaker in this fourth set. And really the Farmers had every chance in the world to get back into it. Alamosa did not pull away until the very end. And uh, this is not really going to hurt Sergeant as far as their ranking goes. Alamosa expected to win this ball game just being in a higher classification than Sergeant is. But really, you know, a win by Sargent really would have helped them as far as getting into the playoffs, still sitting at 37th, one spot out of the 36-team race. Alamosa will go to 12-8 and eight overall, 4-1 and one in league. They are number two in the IML. And uh, they have pretty much secured their playoff at least a spot in the playoffs. Their seeding has yet to be determined. But Alamosa is pretty safe as far as clinching a playoff spot goes. They are number 22, ranked number 22nd in the state right now. And second in the IML behind Bayfield. Now, Alamosa can pull off a couple of wins to end the season. Bayfield could lose one or two games. And, you know, Alamosa could still come away with the league championship. But it is... Very hard to knock off Bayfield. Only one loss on the season so far, so not very many people have been able to do that. As the final here is 25 to 20 in the fourth set, Alamosa taking the matchup three sets to one. And uh, looking ahead on the schedule here once again before we let you all go on your way. Saturday, October 20th. This game was originally scheduled for Friday the 19th, so remember this. Saturday, October 20th, football. We will be in Centauri as the Falcons take on Dolores. Kickoff for that game is scheduled for 1 o'clock. Also, Tuesday, October 23rd, we will be in Monta Vista to see these very same Alamosa Moose take on the Monta Vista Pirates. Key IML League game as Alamosa... Any win they can get puts them potentially one game closer to the league championship, barring a, or, you know, if Bayfield should lose a game or two along the way. And ringing up the regular season of fall sports, 
We will be in center on Friday, October 26th for football. Center Vikings taking on the Del Norte Tigers. That game is scheduled for kickoff at around 7 o'clock p.m. You can catch all these games on www.coloradopreps.tv. And before we go, I would just like to thank our sponsors one more time. Viera Wireless 4G. San Luis Valley now has 4G. And also go into any one of their locations, whether it be in Alamosa or Monta Vista, and talk about the smartphone packages. You guys get free Wi-Fi service. You could tether, set up a whole hotspot from your cell phone and get Internet on your computers. And also, San Luis Valley Federal Bank. Do all your banking with San Luis Valley Federal Bank. This broadcast was brought to you in part by Grizzly Video Productions and also ColoradoPreps.tv. Be sure to check out Kevin Schaefer every Friday night at 9.30 p.m. on any station in Colorado that supports Colorado Preps. And if, you don't, if you're not around a station that supports Colorado Preps, you can also go to ColoradoPreps.com and check out the Built for Tough Colorado Prep Show once again. Kevin Schaefer and the Built for Tough Colorado Prep Show taking place every Friday night at 9.30. That's going to do it here from Alamosa High School. Mean Moose taking it in four sets over the Sergeant Farmers. I'd like to thank everybody for listening. And we will see you again on October 20th in Centauri. I'm Adam Sparandillo. Have a good night.